they also are there in different frequency that you will not be able to see with your human eyes. You can perceive them in the area around you by they affecting you with their energy in different area and different levels because sometimes you can feel like your pressure around you you can feel or you can feel just the opposite you feel that you're expanding and so you can perceive them in that way but many of them doing this work from a different frequency just to be able to do is do that as freely as possible because there always is this fight going on that that them that that kind of people that want to spread the fear to control is still in action but so they don't need to work against them also because there are others doing that now they they are there to help you with this transition to this energy enormous energy field you're going through now understood they can't work in the open some of them do but it's difficult to work in the open because the the knowledge and the insight is not that great yet in many areas on your planet when I'm making these videos um, um, at a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month or so I know there's no such thing as time but there was a light that flashed across the young man's nose and it came forward and it shot back and he said he went through a light. What was that, uh, that flash of light? And why were, why was, why was the camera able to pick that up, please? Young man in Boston. That was there to show for him that his doubt is not necessary and the energy were there to impose his confidence and to help him work with his fears. Ah, oh, very good. And then I was doing another video and it looked like a thumb that sort of came in while I was reciting a poem, like it gave me a thumbs up that Lars there actually pointed out to me because I didn't see it. What was that? Uh, energy just a confirmation that you're on the right path it looked like there was I saw when I was trying to capture that there was a little tiny blue orb that manifest and disappeared really quickly right before it and I can't believe I saw it but I did absolutely see it what was that your higher self oh, very good and then there was that one energetic being that came up it looked like lightning and then it made a 90 degree turn and went across the state went across the screen what was that particular are those please it can be the help as you do uh, perceive in that way and they're moving around very quickly so they can be just like flashes they they're not bounded by any physical laws or they can be wherever they want to be in the blink of an eye. So I think maybe that was no, that was a confirmation that something is going on on the energy level. Very good. And I, to me, when I see those, I think, and because I'm posting these videos, um, that they're confirmation for other people who are watching to give uh, I guess myself and Lars some uh, credentials or what have you for yes that's also a boost for you to carry on doing this work you're doing we are aware of that sometimes it's not so easy to do this because there are always going to be people that say you are doing something wrong and you're doing it the wrong way and for the wrong purpose but we we try to boost you in that way we can that you can perceive and that's why you are seeing these things 
that's why Lars didn't pick up that uh, energy in your monitor. It's just to boost your confidence that you are doing right and also to for others to see that yes, there is something going on. Even for those who are the most skeptical will now come to a, a, a realization that yes, there really is something happening. Does it seem like that I'm holding a lot of fear in terms of my mistrust of everyone's motives around me? That is your mind. That is a part of you. So it's just an aspect of yourself. Nothing to worry about. Because they are going to correct you whenever you're stepping out of line. Well, I keep going forward and keep doing this, so... Yes, and that's a good thing, and you should do that. And we will be there for you. And you are there for many. You have certainly realized that you have affected a lot of people around you. And that's a good thing. I believe I have. Even those that say sometimes that we don't believe in this, you're giving them, anyway, a message that start up a process in them which is not able to neglect and ignore because it's going on even if they're thinking of it or not. So they are changing in another way, but still changing. I say the seed has been planted, huh? Definitely. And it's slowly growing within their consciousness. Well, that is definitely my intention and Lars as well, obviously. Um, That is your work you decided to do, plant seed sometimes almost literally plant seeds. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know. This is like the best time to... to I, I really needed to have the session today. And I believe Lars needed to have the session as well. Uh, because... Uh, as you, many- you both have had a lot of things happening around you. So we get here now to help you to go through that some kind of hardship you went through but it's turning around now believe us, it's turning around oh, very good and my uh, stepfather just died and my best friend's father died and um, of course it was just their physical bodies that passed, we understand that so I'm sure they well in my eyes they're in a much better place than uh because they were quite old though too, so, and they were suffering. And they decided to go on with another, in another level, in another frequency. Excellent. Very good. There is no sorrow there, there. Of course you can feel lost, but that's just because of your the attachment and the feeling of being alone. But if you realize that you are still in almost a higher level connected with them, you lost as a physical entity, then you will have no need for that sorrow or that grieving. Well, I didn't grieve much. Um, No, because you're still in contact with them. That's what I was thinking. a matter of fact, with all of them, I, I did a session with Lars and uh, it was actually very successful when, when my grandfather came with his uh, granny apple and my grandmother and the dogs all came forward. And then I did a session with them the other day, which I think was really horrible. Why is it not so easy for me to relinquish and relax and just let it go the way he does? I ask. You have to realize he have been doing this type of communication for so many years also and have been used to raising the in frequency because he, that's the way he chose to work and you have not been been in that state so many times because 
because you are so busy in giving and you are not you you just have to sometimes relax and give you the time it will be so fine for you right um i'm uh, i'm optimistic for sure i know i'm able to hear it whenever i'm writing my poems uh, but I'm still looking for that experience that he has. Like now, being in that room with all of you. And you are here. We are a ninth collective. A collective of nine in the 13th dimension. That's pretty awesome. Yes. And I, I'm sure that you're feeling the vibration. I feel good now. Right. Do and I? That you feel that your heart is lighter. Oh yes, I definitely so. Before uh, there were so many things that were going on in my mind, and you know how I like to write everything out. And so I wrote the one piece, and then I was like, "Man, I, it's good. I like what I said in it, but at the same time, I felt like I shouldn't put it out there because it was sort of semi-based in fear." And then I wrote the second one. I don't know. It just felt much better. So you see, you have the courage. Yeah. And you have the right intention in your heart. That is the most important. And you will be for the right in your life. You will never, never, never thought you ever will see coming. But it will come. There will be a right for you. There will be a what for me? A right? Uh, a right. Our uh, experience. Oh, okay. That is coming for you also. I can't wait. I'm very excited. Very excited. And patient. I just feel better. I'm so happy to have this conversation, this communication today. I'm so appreciative. If you... Uh, I'm saying this to all of you listening. That if you keep any thought that just going on in your mind over and over and over again, and you're not really trying to find the answer, you are stuck in that thought pattern. You have to stop doing that and do something totally different for a while because you're also setting a stop for the, the, the energy to flow when you're, you're stuck in that thought pattern because it's just like an old record playing the same, same track over and over again and you will not change anything. You have to let go of that and do something totally different. Maybe go to the ocean, maybe go into the forest, maybe come closer to nature. We're, well, that's something we all need to do much more than we have done in the past. And not it, every one of us need to do that, come closer to nature, go out and be in awe of what's going on in totally understood that was one really positive thing that barbara marciniak said earlier as i was listening to her and then just to be fair on her account she did say just because we're saying this or we're feeling it just don't doesn't mean that it's going to actually happen as such um, so every time you you have that thought in you you don't need to rush off because when you have that thought it's open up your heart for that frequency to reach into you, into your whole entity, into your whole spirit. It's reaching into you when you open your heart in that way. And you're thinking in positive, uh, positive ways of, you can sit in your kitchen and look out and just look at the tree and be in awe of how everything is connected, everything is living. And then the frequency just raise automatically for you. Well, I appreciate that. Um, 
I know I don't live that far from the ocean and I have a brand new car and I have a lot of time on my hand. I feel really blessed for all of those things, but I, I think I am going to start driving down to the ocean more often and also uh, getting out into the forest a little bit more often as well. We are sure that you acknowledge that when it's time for that to happen. Excellent. So, while we're here, do you have anything else that you would like to share with those who are listening in terms about what's this energetic shift that's taking place on the planet? We are aware that many of you are talking about technical development, and that's also is happening, but you have also already a lot of knowledge of them and you will now be able to access them in a different way than you were able before. Some knowledge is going to bring forth for you in a very short future, and some knowledge is coming from in your society, from your scientists, and from a different group working in this. And it, it's going to be bring forward for you soon. But there's still a lot of things that needs to be cleansed out. Still of things going on that's it's not compatible with this thing, this different technology that we w want to present for you. You say our our Vibrational, our, vib our vibrations aren't compatible with this technology yet? Many of your vibration is compatible, but the, the attention from many of you is not compatible with that. Okay. It can be used in the, in the good of all, but it can also be used in an awful attention. way. Okay. So when you are ready for it, it will be revealed for you and many of you are aware of them because you are involved in that work. So as many people are sending out the, uh, the uh, a strong intent, people who are light workers, people who pay attention to these particular type of videos, people who get this information, if they were individually you know, they don't have to go and tell every single person that they, they that they meet or whatever. Of course, they're going to plant their seeds or whatever within reason of not being rejected by their friends and family. But uh, they could hold the unconditional love in their heart, which helps, does it not, with the collective? You did just now plant that seed, so yes. Oh, very good. I like to do that. <laughs> uh, I absolutely do. I don't. And just, no. just to acknowledge the work that they're doing, it's more than enough for them to keep doing what they do. And acknowledge the work they are doing is just to send them a thought of positive energy and tell them that you love them. Very good. And how much should how much energy should we put toward these financial revaluations or these polit these political um, agendas of these politicians? It's going to be taken care of, so you don't need to put that much energy into that because it's sorting itself out because so much is now out in the open that's going on that you can see in your own country that so many young people waking up now to a different reality to see what's going on in your government and there is an election going on in your country and so many wrongdoing has been exposed and it will keep on being exposed in a uh, more uh, higher rate than now, so it's going to take care of itself because the right vibration is coming in there. 
Excellent. Excellent. Is there anything else that this council would like to share with the... We want to acknowledge for you that and make you aware of that you have the power of healing inside you. And you can do that for your friends, for your close, for your family, or for anybody. You can give that healing to them. It's just to have the right state of mind when you're giving the positive energy and you can heal so many of you diseases you're carrying around and this unalignment of your entity or your body. We will want to we want to make you aware of this power you have and you always have carried it with you. Some of you work in that area but they think I have I need to go to someone to do this. But you have it yourself. And your neighbor has it. You just have to feel that these people around me deserve this. And let go of all hatred and all jealousy. And it will be so much more nicer for you all. Oh, very good. Thank you very much for that. We appreciate that tremendously. How is Lars's body doing? He's okay. He's getting used to it. Oh, very good. And is there anyone else? Are you speaking for everyone there in the group? Or is there a voice in there that we haven't heard yet that would like to make a presentation? I'm speaking for the voice of all. Ah, oh, thank you very much. We if all contribute to this. Oh, very good. 13th dimension, that's pretty uh, high. That's, uh, well, normally we've been connect connecting with the 11th dimension. Is this, uh, Lars, can you tell this is an entirely different group then? Okay, very good. When you reach above, above the fifth, sixth dimension, you can travel freely through all the other dimen dimensions, but you will experience different things out of your own experience from the past. Um. There's so much out there that you're still not aware of. Very good. And even we in this council don't have all the answer. Understood. Here's a question that I have to ask. How does the councils and these highly high vibrational entities that are watching us as we do our thing down here, how does it help you? How does it help our higher selves as we focus down here on this planet? It's help us to hold this higher vibration. It's help us to spread the vibration. So everything you do, everything you think, every action you take in any, any possible way is, in, is have, having an impact of everything else. So when you do in this world, you're clearing up you can say it's like clearing up a room full of smoke. You open a window and in come fresh air. So when you do this work, it's resonating to all the universe in many different levels, of course. But it's always making thing, good thing stronger. Ah, oh, very good. So is there anyone else in this particular group that is in Lars or my uh, inner circle here on the earth that we don't recognize? Yes. Who else is there? There are entities in the 
this group now uh, coming from two other universe, universes they, that are here to uh, surveillance what's going on because they have already done this in their realm, in their frequency. Okay, and so they just come in they know that Lars and I come together like this and do these sessions and they get to get a first-hand view or a first-hand feeling of how we're doing down here or yes yeah, almost like they are interns they are here to observe but they are also here to share their knowledge and their experience with us and they do know that right now to you both of you. So this is also coming from them. Ah, oh, very good. Well, we appreciate everyone in that space and anyone who would come forward with a loving message that would help humanity through this process that we're going through. We thank you for supporting us and we try our best to stay on the right path and uh, we know all roads lead to source and that there's only one, but we do appreciate our uh, individuality, so to speak. And uh, we will try to remember that you are not detached from each other. Try to remember that we are all here together, all races, all species, all of you. We are in this together. You are never 